hello students in the previous class i taught you about the meaning of virus and the different type of viruses so what is virus a virus is a program or a set of programs that disrupt the normal functioning of a computer and which destroy the data also data and information now some symptoms are there which indicate that the our computer system is virus affected now some symptoms are first computer starts doing things on its own means that sometimes we see in our computer system that a cursor is moving by itself or our computer systems opening and closing randomly etc so this is only the computer starts doing things on its own second is computer may shut down and restart frequently third malfunctioning may be noticed in several applications fourth certain drives on the computer become inaccessible means some drives are not working properly next is unexpected error messages pop up menus and dialog boxes may appear distorted speed of the computer system becomes slow due to the virus so these all are the symptoms which indicate that the computer system is virus affected now the next point is how virus spreads in our computer system this is your question so computer viruses usually spread in one of the three ways first is via removable storage device through the removable storage which we are using in our computer system second from internet through internet it comes in our computer next is through email attachment whatever the emails are coming email messages are coming attachments are coming in our computer in our email through this only now we begin with the first one via removable storage device sharing and transferring files via flash drive is a very common practice today because now in these days we are using our pen drive in our computer system if it will infect the computer with which it is attached if a pen drive is inserted in an infected computer it will also be infected with the virus now the next from internet computer viruses spread very quickly through internet because they can be transmitted to many sites simultaneously and there are many websites which while visiting try to install adware bugs that will cause a flood of pop ups to appear on your screen so through internet also virus can come in our computer system now the next is through email attachment very viruses may be sent as an executable file with an email attachment and mislead the recipient into clicking on it means any email is coming in our in, in main uh, mailbox if we are going to click on it then virus will spread in our computer system so the, by these three sources virus can enter into our computer system now the next topic is swiper what is swiper swiper is an another type of virus which looks like an antivirus program and the user unintentionally downloads it means this swiper is also a type of virus but it's look like an antivirus so anybody can by mistake they can download it in our computer and they think that it's a antivirus but it's not an antivirus it is a different type of virus which looks like an antivirus program and unintentionally it downloads it in our computer this virus makes use of google services to install the malicious code on the computer and once it is installed in our computer it create variety of harmless fake malware files in our computer which gets automatically started when the user logs into windows and it also controls the browsing activity of the user which changes the system files etc without the user intervene knowledge or the intervention so this is called the swiper swiper is an another type of virus but it's look like an antivirus program next is malware the term malware is made up of two words malicious and software it is a generic term used for such programs that enter into a computer and damage it without the user's knowledge so malware is made up of two words 
malicious and software. Now, malware not only interrupts the functioning of a computer, but also it steals the important information from the computer. So, malware is made up of two words, malicious and software. And uh, it damages a computer system without the user's knowledge. Malware not only destroy our computer function, but also steal some important function. Now, some examples of data stealing malware that is Bancos. Bancos is an information stealer that waits for a user to access banking website and while surfing, it steals the sensitive information. Means that Banco, Bancos is a stealer, information stealer, which wait for the user when you as uh, user are going to open any banking website or while surf surfing the website that bankers steal the uh, sensitive information from the website next is getor this is also uh, another type of data stealing malware it secretly monitors web surfing habits and sends this information to its server means this getor secretly seeing that what type of user is using the website web serving habits of the user and send that same information to its server which then throws a related pop-up advertisement so this is the getter bankos and getter both are the data stealing malware so that's all for today thank you